Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 12 of this Let's Play Stellaris as the United Oathswarm. We've just had a war breakout. The Atarian Cartel, that's down here, isn't it? Yep, has declared war on the Adiks Imperium, so these two are now at war. Okay, interesting. Uh, in the last episode, we did fight a war of our own. The Empire of Joomla here are now our vassal. They are no longer independent. And the other thing that we need to look out for, actually, is we've probably developed a bunch of war... like, aggressive expansion type thing. I'm not actually seeing any. Sejathari, where are you? Sejathari. Border friction voting rights policy. No, they don't seem to have cared that we took out our mutual rival. Uh, who else hates us? Adik's not a great friend. Adik's being those guys that are currently being fought against. Ships so what I'm thinking about doing is rivaling them. Complete. Uh, who are they fighting again? The Arterian Cartel. Who are, we are actually friends with. So we are going to complete. make them a rival as well. Which will give us a little bit more influence to play with. We could probably do with another, so Empire Joomla, that's our friends now, Larango. Ah, Larango are... have rivaled us. Have we rivaled them? Yes, we have. So Larango is probably going to be our next target, however their tech is superior to ours and their fleet is equivalent. So we want to build a couple of the destroyers before we do anything about that. Some more debris done. Task force has been upgraded. So are those Pakhtharians? No, there are... Oh no, those are different ships. Raiders. Maybe Frigate isn't an official class in the same way that Raider isn't an official class. Don't know. Um, one thing I will do though is I want to actually delete the Pakhtharian model. Complete. So everything does become law speakers from now on. Okay, we've just arrived at this planet here, so that has begun. Ah, 37 will be upgraded for zero, so I think that's going to make them all into law speakers now that we've got rid of the previous model. Good. You're building another colony ship. Do we have anywhere analyzed. to actually colonize right now? You are still doing Jumla. You're going a bit slower than I'd hoped. But you have now done it all. Complete. Okay. And these guys seem to be rebuilding. They've built another starbase. They have a couple of ships for defense. They've built another... Oh, that's an army. Okay. Oh, speaking of these armies, are they actually in orbit? No, they're on the surface. We would need to embark them all, and then they become assault troops. Okay. We have inactive buildings. That's just because people are migrating around. Although I would like the power hub. Oh yeah, especially as the, it's a hub to be in action. Let's move you over to that. Could probably actually do with checking these. Your upgrade. You doing that? You need to do with an upgrade. Make it happen. So any population I get from here is probably going to like immediately migrate somewhere else. If it is even still growing, I, d I don't know. Uh, this is a planetary administration already. More inactive buildings. Uh, I think we might move you to there so we can continue growing your population. I think I might also order this cleared. Maybe this one as well. You are migrating. So there is quite a lot of movement between our people right now. It's fine. I have no problem with that. Uh, how are you doing? You're also migrating. You basically built everything that you want to build. However, we could actually 
upgrade some of these tiles. We, we won't do that until we actually have people here though, I think. Uh, this could also do with some clearing. Let's clear the food sites. Oh, and this level 4 spot. I think that'll be sufficient. Rorian's Grove. Do you have anything that needs building? No, and in fact your people are abandoning this place pretty quickly. And we are happy, having happiness issues. No matter. And we can now build engineering facilities. Okay, so the new options are space torpedoes. These guys are strong because they completely ignore shields. Just totally ignore them. Um, so we might want to do that. Let's just... It's a failure risk zero. Yeah, go for it, it's fine. Uh, we can get plasma thrusters, which are better movement speed. And defense platforms, which are like star bases, but you can place them anywhere, not just in planetary orbit. They don't build units, but they do have defensive weapons. I think I'm going to go for the torpedoes. They are a, supposedly an extremely powerful weapon. I don't mind equipping one or two of those on our ships. And actually, we do need to diversify our ship's equipment somewhat. So like here we have our point defense, as well as the coil guns. If we came across someone with loads of armor our coil guns would struggle, because they have no armor piercing capability, while lasers do. But coil guns do do more damage overall, so it would be slightly better at this point against shields than lasers are. Ah, that's why we're losing money. We have a colony ship and a colony in development right now. Uh, really? There's an arctic world here we haven't colonized? Apparently not. Please go and do something about that then, please. I quite like the look of this spot here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a better spot, actually. Pre-sentient species found. One species native to Dothon 2. As according to the U.S. Staphorgian, orbiting the planet achieved a tentative mastery of the planet. Science officer Vipim de Pirium proposes that we should monitor their development closely and maybe even help them along if possible. So you can get a technology which allows you to make pre-sentient species into sentient species and then let them go through the whole loop of developing them into a member of your empire. Precisely how that works though, I don't know because I've never done it. That is a completely new aspect to me. Now, we are starting to get some more influence again, so I think I am going to turn back on some of these. We don't need the minerals right now, so I'm not going to do that. However, I'm going to continue to encourage three free thought so we can keep on getting our plus 10 research bonus to everything, which does mean we are checking up quite nicely. Construction complete. Inactive buildings. Oh, more people are abandoning this place. That's irritating. Okay, some of our... Actually, hang on. How do I cancel that? Cancel. Yes. Construction complete. 1.8 engineering basics. Yeah, this is actually a, an engineering spot, so we do want to upgrade that into an engineering facility. Cool. Um, you are physics, you are society, you are engineering, so we upgrade you to engineering. You are society and physics, no engineering on that planet. You are massive society. You are none of the above. You are not either. Neither are you. Society, engineering, oh, except we can't even develop that one, so never mind. Okay. Trade treaty with Sejathari, so that is the migration one, isn't it? So let's reopen that, shall we? Where else, Sejathari, there you are. You're still considered a superior. Right, of course, the... Laronga Consciousness were the advanced nation, I think. So I think we are growing faster than they are currently, but they are still of a threat to us. Sejathari are now if inferior. All 
All right, so we want to offer a trade deal. We want migration access both ways. And in fact, this is of benefit to you, apparently. So you could give us something more. We'll take the non-aggression. We're basically getting to the stage where we might f f f form an alliance with these guys and eventually possibly even a federation. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a decent idea to me. So you guys are willing to give me stuff. Uh, what am I short on? I'm most short on energy credits. There we go. Three energy a month plus 150 up front for migration and non-aggression. I'll accept that. Construction complete. And they are reasonable and they accept our offer. Excellent. Okay. So we now have a non-aggression with those guys, which means that we can focus entirely on Lorongo here. Uh, okay, we've got another colony. And now we are over our limit of the number of planets we can actually directly control. So what I'm thinking of doing is making both of these guys into a sector. And then basically we'd have this entire area here as one sector. Um, this would allow our core regions to be here. We do, of course, have another planet being established like in this area right now. So I don't want to make this into a sector. So this will be one. The way you do that is by going into the Empire tab up here first tab of planets, create new sector, and then you need to choose what it will be in that sector. Once these two are neighboring, then they can be. Um, so that's fine for now. Okay, so back in the empire thing, if you scroll down to the bottom of the list, you can now see the sector here. Um, I want to rename it into the Ursian Lawyers. sector. So all the lawyers are from this area. All the enforcers are from this area. Okay, so they are right at the back end of our empire, so I'm not worried about making them... You can... No, it's just the one. Okay, so you can choose here basically what you want them to focus on. So right now they are on military focus, which means that they'll build defensive stations and stuff like that. However, we probably want these guys to be either industrial or financial. Actually, depending on what their planets are like, let's have a quick look. You have loads of research potential. Loads of it, actually. Interesting, okay. Hold on, let me zoom out, thank you. And the other one, once you are a little more developed, also high research. So we're going to make the Ursian Lawyers our research center. So, go back to Empire, we make them research focus. Then this thing here allows you to determine how much they pay you in tax. So, what does a sector mean? It is basically a semi-autonomous region of your space. You can see that it is no longer considered a directly controlled planet. It is automated. Um, everything on the planet we can now no longer choose what they are doing. Uh, where is that planet gone? There. So we would not be able to move these people around. That's that's all for them now. Um, so they choose their layout for themselves. They build star bases. They build platforms. I do they build platforms? Actually, I'm not sure about defensive units. They definitely don't build units. However, they do contribute to your overall naval capacity, particularly if you put them on a defensive focus, then they'll build lots of star ports, which means that your each star port you have increases the amount of naval capacity you have, which means you can then build more ships and then you are basically charged with defending them. The other thing that you should do for a sector is assign a governor over them as well. Um, so that will be the next thing we do. We are currently at 9 out of 10 these guys. Now we can either get a general or another governor. I think we might need another governor actually. Build time, construction time. 
Now, because we're actually going to make this area our tech area, what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a leader and I'm going to give them the intellectual guy. He's actually quite a high level as well. And that means that I think he gives his skills to everything in his sector. I don't know for sure if that's true, but I think so. Um, and that means that we're going to need to take a look at our other worlds and reassign our governors accordingly. So, taxing. You can basically tax them a portion of their income. Whoops, I mean to close that. Um, and it will show you here precisely what they are giving you. So at zero income, so they're going to be reinvesting everything that they generate, they also give you nothing. However, if you have 75% um, taxation, then they will give us three minerals. Not really worth it, we want them to build up. Can you stop closing that, thank you. Uh, so we're going to not tax them anything, so all the minerals and credits that they are generating will go back into their own treasuries. Additionally, we can give them materials directly, and I'm going to do that just to give them a bit of a startup fund. So we'll give them 600 minerals and 300 credits. Now if we unpause this, they'll almost immediately spend them. I thought. Well, they'll spend them, trust me. And they'll use that to build more stations, they'll use that to build buildings on their planet. And uh, you can grow the sector over time to incur um, add more systems, but they have to be neighbouring. So we've just added Hymer here, and as that influence grows, particularly as these two grow together, we'll be able to add Unar to it too. So there you go. That's how that works. Dolthon. That's where the primitive species are. Ah, it shows them here. So these are the primitive, sorry, the presentient species that we would, in time, be able to build up. They're irradiated? What does that mean? Tomb World Habitability 100. So they're really good at living on tomb worlds. Huh, okay. Dothon's Arctic though, it's not a tomb world. And they are Arctic preference. So these guys would actually do really, really well in our empire. They have no ethics divergence because they have no ethics. They're they don't have government, they don't have a society. But with the right technology, we would be able to incorporate them into our empire, I think. Um, that is something we will need to investigate. I think it's one of these techs. Because we're so far ahead in engineering, I might actually switch these two round. So we want this to be Barum. We want this to be the available guy. Uh, no we don't, because you are in fact an expert at doing that type of technology. Duh! Uh, you should be... Research speed. I have a scientist free. Why do I have a scientist free? I didn't miscalculate the number of scientists, did I? Yeah, I do, I have one free. One, two, three, four. Oh, for goodness sake, I have five scientists now. Ah! Well, that's irritating, because we're wasting a level three guy. Unfortunately, this guy is really good at doing anomalies and things, so I actually want him to be my anomaly person. Uh, what we could do, in that instance, actually, is we can build another science ship and that will actually allow us to get around the issue of not having surveyed very much of our area by doing that so we'll be doubling our capacity which is actually okay uh, we can minimize armies i know i have a lot of them okay so what else did i need to do i know i was thinking about something but i honestly can't remember what it was oh i remember now i was going to look for other places i could potentially colonize I think I just need to wait until things are surveyed before I do that, though. Uh, Dalthon, we could build a mining station. Oh, it's on our borders. Never mind. Keep forgetting about that. Are any of these other places in our borders now? Unar is. So we could build a mining station here. Anything else? No, we just need to wait for their influence to grow. Uh, Hymer was in our borders as well, but it has not yet been surveyed, so we can't do much about that yet. 
Okay, so what I think I might do... Oh, lost the leader again. I hope he was in the fight. I'm pretty sure he was. Alright, they are still Pakatharian class. But they've been law speaker. Complete. Construction complete. System survey complete. Alright, so we're getting some system surveys done. Where did you just do? Oh, that was Dolthon. So we've got a bunch more things there that we could get, but it's not our system yet. Um, we can colonize Dolthon, but doing so will mean that we have problems with the current natives here. And we need to put them in reservations and stuff like that. So I actually kind of want to leave them alone and let them grow of their own accord. Ships upgraded. Probably with our interference when it's been done. Now they're lawmakers. Right, they were still upgrading. Okay, I was misreading that. Now they are all law lawmakers except for the three raiders that we have. Cool. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Duh. I was going to build some law speakers. Because we have got the minerals for it. It does cost us 252 for each destroyer. So the 99 for a corvette. But they are quite significantly stronger. So we definitely want some of those. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Level 3 starport there. We might actually want to upgrade this one to a level 2. So it too can build destroyers. We still need more minerals for that to happen. So we're going to wait until the end of this month. We may as well speed up time again. And then we will build the level 2 starport here. Now one thing I do wish is that there was an icon around the planets that you have a starport and those that you do not. So like, these, no starport. This one I do. Apparently Rorion's Grove. Wouldn't have known that. And they have a solar panel network. So this is what I was talking about, the energy credits 3. That then means that you're not paying any credits for this starport, so you can have a lot more of them in your fleet. Uh, Self-aware logic. We can now get one more research alternative, so you'll notice now there are four choices here, plus the ones that we already have a little bit of an investment in. So we can assist research. Now this is quite useful, though not for us at this point. Uh, basically, the science ships that we have running around, if they have nothing left for them to do, and they can go into orbit and they can assist the research on that planet. And that will basically boost all the research on that planet by 5%. Per scientist level. So level 5 scientists will give them plus 25% research. Which is actually a really, really big boost. So you do eventually want to do that. We probably want the physics lab so we can upgrade our labs a little more. Though basic combat roles would also be quite nice. Because it allows us to upgrade our ship computers. To either increase the defensive one. So chance of evading hull hit points or the fire rate. And damage so the weapons do more. Uh, but I'm going to do the physics lab so we get a little more tech. We've also received a communique. The United Yalox Kalok Confederation. We are the United Yax Kalok Confederation, a nation built on the principles of peaceful isolation and individual freedoms. Prime Minister Kreider, the head of our government, requests that you leave us be and pursue your nefarious alien agendas far away from our territory. As fellow star explorers, we salute you. Hello. Okay, we have a new science ship which needs a leader, which will be you. Hello. And we're basically just going to set you to survey all of these areas here. Because we do eventually want to move into this stuff. Uh, you've done that one. I'm just kind of going to loop here. Something along those lines. In fact, we can keep going down this way, I guess. And scientists leveled up, so that's the new scientist guy, I think. Marvellous! More inactive buildings. Yeah, you keep on moving your people away. Are they getting any, getting any happier? Still have the recently conquered minus 25%. I mean, happiness will eventually go up to 68, which would be fine. Too many planets, right. Um, so now we're losing 10% influence and 10% energy credits because we have too many planets. I'm going to guess every planet that you have goes over by 10%. I would guess. Um, so this is where the sectors come in. 
Unfortunately, these two still have not connected, so I cannot make them sectors. Now, I don't really want to have two sectors here. I'd rather have just the one. So we only need the one governor to look after it. Construction complete. All right, so hostile fleet. We are getting some people here. Hostile fleet. Okay, there's a crystalline entity in Volonis. So what we'll do once these fleets are merged, we'll go into Volonis and we'll start destroying that hostile there. Maybe we'll kill some of these as well. Although that's not such a big... Oh, there's... Wow, they're really small. Kind of stuck. Yeah, those guys are completely stuck, in fact. That's a horrible place to start. Ugh. Have you merged yet? How far can you be? You're both in Holtham. Oh, they've merged. Alright, so let's go and kill this. The Artiran Cartel have built an embassy in our territory. Uh, which... wait. Do we already have an embassy with them? I have a feeling we do. Our Durham Cartel. Are we embassying you? No, we're not. I think we should. So you guys are pretty cool. Another potential alliance member. How's your war with the Adiks going, I wonder? Still fighting. Okay. We're in the system. It has a strength of 105. We have a strength of more than a thousand. We're going in with two destroyers and 34 corvettes. We should actually be able to see the destroyers. They're the slightly bigger ones there at the back. And the three raiders are those three. I think. Hostile fleet in case. Those three. No, it's those three. Okay, and here goes the fight. We are completely and utterly smashing them. One down, two down. Simples! System survey complete. Right, so you were the one that was supposed whoops. Supposed to be going Hello. Here. So we're gonna start you off doing the research project and then survey the system. And then we'll get you to move along and do these. Oh man, that was a mistake. Damn it. Um, I wish there was a way of bringing up their orders and cancelling the last one. That's going to be really inefficient. Okay, let's, let's do that again. Research project there. Survey. And we'll do the loop. We'll do this. Much, much better. That's as far as you can go. Tundra world, but not a tropical world. In fact, this tundra world is less colonizable. Oh no, it's more colonizable. Natural beauty, hostile fauna. Hmm. Interesting planet. We can probably eradicate that hostile fauna too. Alright, so let's grab our fleet and let's go after some of these guys. Crystalline entities tend to be a bit tougher, but we'll get our Admiral here a bit more experience. He's now level 3. And we'll also get a little tech for doing the um, debris research. Okay. Onwards! We have more set locks. Minus one research buildings. Yeah, that's not going to happen. 
Are we still building ships? We are still building ships. How many? Just the one. Each destroyer takes two spots, by the way. So we'll be up to 47 or 48 maximum. And over time we will want to kind of phase out some of the corvettes we have for destroyers. Because I believe they are quite a lot stronger. Although you probably do want a mix of fleets rather than just one class. So that you can deal with uh, ships of different strengths. Are you... Are they names here? Oh. Right, go and kill that. Then once you've done that, go here and kill them. Construction complete. Ten minerals from that system. Wow. Hostile fleet engaged. Debris analyzed. Plus ten regenerative health, physics, and society. Cool. Oh wow, we are we annihilated those guys. Right, you guys, the ones with the long list of things to do. Yes, you are. Which means you have the shorter one, so we'll send you on a research project here. Just destroy all of those. Situation log updated. Again, annihilated. Oh wait, is that the new one? Did not mean to do that. Research I meant complete. For you to do it. Hopefully, it cancels the order. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Can't believe just how easily we're winning these fights. Just smashing through their defenses. Situation log updated. Excellent. Physics. Solar panel network. I think this is the one we want. Then we can start spamming out star bases. Starports, even. Disruptor. Disruptors fire high energy bolts that we can destroy. The molecular bonds that hold together targets constituent atoms together. They're particularly eff effective against shields. Okay. And then better reactor. Better point defense. I think I'm going to go with the solar panels, though. Okay. Are our neighbor still our superiors? Longer. Research complete. Where are you? There you are. Equivalent. Their tech is still superior, though. System survey complete. We have another election. With this chap being by far the most popular. Colony ships and food. Off-world miner, much easier to do, achieve. I'm actually quite happy with him being elected. System surveyed, and we are out of... S Why are you not telling me when I get a new tech? Right, resettlement cost, and share the burden, which means slaves are better. We don't have slaves or robots. Naval capacity means we can have more ships. It wouldn't be too bad. We can form a federation. I think you need a minimum number of players to do that, so not really worth it, or a biolab. I think it's the biolab that we want the most. There we are. System survey complete. Uh, where can I set my messages? Um... Uh, this literally goes to their wiki. Interesting. Um, don't know. But anyway, that is the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'll try and sort out the settings in between episodes and get back to you about how I fixed it. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you're enjoying this series. If you have any tips or advice for me, then please do let me know in the comments. I'm always very happy to read those. And it's always good interacting with you guys. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.